Hello, so this is a quick tutorial where I wanted to share how to do very basic uh, assembly level modifications to Doom or to other applications, but Doom is a nice example. So, uh, so for example, what uh, I wanted to achieve in uh, this exact case is, uh, let's say, we have ammunition in Doom, we, we can play of course, we can uh, shoot. Uh, so what I wanted is uh, to make sure that at each time we shoot, uh, our ammunition level uh, increases instead of decreasing. So uh, let's uh, try and see how we can achieve it. So uh, I'm using uh, several applications uh, in this case. So uh, the, here is nice online disassembler. It will help us uh, disassemble mnemonics if we need it. Uh, we also need, uh, I use ZDoom, which is uh, Doom port. It's 32-bit version. I also use Kitty Creator as a wrapper around GDB because uh, I like U its UI. Uh, for hex editing, I will be using XVI 32. It's just a nice hex editor. And I will be also, also using uh, Assembler uh, to assemble instructions for Doom, which we need uh, to replace. Uh, for this case, it's not necessary. We can uh, find uh, instructions in online, but uh, usually for m more intense hacking, we would like to use some nice assembler. So uh, I'm using um, assembler setup, which is flat assembler. I just like its syntax. So uh, uh, for search of uh, values and addresses, I'm using ArcMoney, which is uh, something similar to what I heard is cheat engine, but I never use cheat engine, so I usually use ArcMoney for such things. Uh, it's quite convenient, so uh, it's free software, uh, just developed some by some people. There is pro version, but I'm using very simple basic version, which is quite good, uh, I would say. So let's start. Uh, we have uh, our game. Uh, we can shoot things, right? Uh, so we have, right now we have 46 ammo in pistol, of course, uh, we would, we, we can, uh, we have other things like uh, hand, uh, I don't know how to batching or uh, so, but uh, we also we don't have other uh, weapons now. So in pistol we have uh, 46 ammo. We also have uh, it written here, here, and uh, probably inside pistol object, which is part of uh, game engine or game environment. Uh, so uh, let's search for this value. Uh, this is uh, 46, 46, and we can select uh, exact value and select type, which is integer 4 bytes. Uh, byte order is normal and everything is just okay. Full address range and uh, no uh, alignment. Uh, it finds uh, 634 values. Um, then I just uh, remove pause, uh, walk a bit, and filter values again, just nothing changed, so same. And uh, then we can walk and uh, go upstairs, or oh, oh, let's uh, shoot once. So now we have 45. I filter 45. And we have four values. So actually all these four values are what we want. But um, let's isolate uh, things a bit. So some of these values are real uh, ammunition inside pistol. But some of these values are just copies of uh, think we need uh, one of them we don't know which one but one of them one of them is real value but others are just copies so uh, probably here is a, a human uh, interface object uh, which holds value 45 which is converted to string and or not to string necessarily but I think to string and then displayed in um, uh, bleated uh, images of uh, numbers and here we have also similar thing, probably it holds integer value, which is then converted. But pistol itself holds something and probably something else. So let's isolate it. So um, one approach to isolate it is, uh, we, what we want to find is probably this internal value, uh, 45, but not in this object or this object or just inside pistol or inside gameplay. So uh, let's first, how we can isolate it? So. Of course, I have cheat code, so I will use, use now cheat code to get all weapons uh, ID FA. And uh, what it gives now, 
we can see that value is upgraded. So we have 400 uh, shells or bullets. Uh, let's uh, switch to shotgun. Now we have 100, but our bullets are still 400. So if we see 100, it's not what we want because we want to modify pistol uh, ammo. So let's remove these values. They are garbage. Uh, I remove this and this. All right. So now let's uh, switch back to pistol. As you can see, we have uh, still have our values. Uh, let's shoot once. All right. And uh, now we have 3999. So what I will do, I will uh, put other value here. So I will put uh, 200, right? And let's see how it behaves. So we have 200 displayed here, but, and we have 200 displayed here as well. But do we really have 200 uh, in pistol? Let's try. 199. But what is the value here? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, this value followed this value. But uh, so this is actually the value we need. So uh, real uh, ammo variable. But what about this value? Let's just, uh, I will show uh, why this value is not the right thing. So let's modify this and set, uh, say, 250. Uh, you will see that uh, nothing followed uh, this update, but more importantly, when we shoot, uh, things continue to decrease and uh, into below uh, 199. So they are not following 250, and this 250 was rewrite, rewritten. So basically, engine internally holds copy somewhere and just rewrites it copies from here to other value so we don't care about this value we have our real um, ammunition va uh, variable which we want uh, to override uh, we can control it from here but uh, that's not uh, what we want we want to replace it in binary so our application behaves differently so now we have address which is suited to be uh, virtual address but we don't care right uh, we just care about uh, where it is in memory uh, it's time to connect with debugger to this application and uh, check what's behind this value, if it's correct. I know it's correct, but uh, we, we want to check it, right? So debug, uh, start debugging and attach to running application. I have already Zedun in the list of applications. So this and attach to process, uh, right? Uh, yeah. So uh, now we broke in. Uh, we are breaking into application. It's uh, on pause now. Uh, let's uh, open memory editor and uh, which well which address? I will write it uh, down in our nice editor. So it's zero uh, x uh, zero x five uh, cc thirty four a four. Uh, so we want this address and. Uh, uh, what is the value behind it? So here we have four bytes, 32 bit value. I don't really know if it's 32 bit, but I assume this is 32 bit Doom port, so it holds integer values at least 32 bits. Uh, I don't think it's long value or something, it's just integer probably. I don't know if it's sign or unsigned, but doesn't matter. So C6, uh, let's just, uh, I use calculator, uh, which is nice Windows calculator. So C6 is uh, 198 in decimal. So that's indeed the value we want. Uh, we can now, we probably can control it from this application. We don't really need art money anymore, so I will just uh, minimize it. So uh, we know that uh, this is the value we want. Let's, uh, uh, what is our next step? Um, there is a nice feature in, uh, I think it's CPU feature. CPU has up to four uh, hardware breakpoints, uh, which can be programmed by debuggers. Uh, a debugger can set a break on execution or break on access, which is basically uh, uh, asks a debugger to uh, set breakpoint, which uh, debugger is connected to interrupt, right? Interrupt three or something. Uh, it will break into debugger when uh, someone tries to access specific memory address. It should be 32 bit memory address, I think. Uh, Probably it's 64-bit on 64-bit system, but I don't know how it works on uh, this kind of 32-bit uh, to 64-bit uh, translation. So um, let's just, uh, we need a breakpoint. 
so we have uh, we, we are now somewhere in our program running uh, but uh, we need to add breakpoint I will just uh, remove uh, breakpoints I've been experimenting before so uh, let's uh, add breakpoint and uh, we can of course uh, break everywhere but we don't have symbols so we don't know functions or anything we just know memory where uh, our ammunition holds so the idea is when someone tries to overwrite memory overwrite the values inside that uh, uh, memory address uh, we know that um, uh, that specific uh, memory value uh, holds ammunition and someone tries to replace or increase or decrease do something to that uh, variable uh, this uh, break on access at fixed uh, break on data access at fixed address it breaks only when uh, it says on access but it breaks only when value is overridden not just uh, when someone reads we need to use different one I think break on memory address but uh, this breaks on everything uh, but this one uh, breaks on write only I think or possibly on execution I'm not sure so uh, let's try uh, so this is the address we want uh, we also want uh, actually we want to set up a different thread here but that doesn't matter so uh, uh, we allow all threads to do it we have only two so right now we have uh, so many threads uh, I think this is a thread uh, we want I hope I connected yeah so probably so many threads uh, yeah but doesn't matter so we will find out. Uh, let's just resume debugging. We hold, uh, added a uh, break on access on memory, which is our ammunition. I resume application so we can continue playing. Now we can uh, walk. So um, as you can see, uh, now when we... I can switch um, uh, weapons and nothing happens, absolutely. But when we try shooting, I will shoot once. And uh, the idea is that our application will stop because somebody tried to, because value will decrease and somebody tried to, uh, some part of code, some function, tried to decrease this value. So, shoot. And we got a break on uh, access. We have this assembly. Uh, so, uh, this is really what we want. We have these values. Uh, so, I will copy as much as possible. And I will also, uh, th actually, this is what we, we need. We don't need anything else, but. Uh, I will show a bit more on top of that. So this is nice. Uh, we broke, uh, as you can see, test B. So somebody already uh, accessed that memory. So somebody wrote. And as you can see, uh, somebody overridden our memory uh, at this instruction because it broke at, th at this point. So uh, it stopped exactly where we wanted. And uh, we know that at this point, somebody overridden our uh, bullets value uh, so it is clear that it was subtracted which is very nice sub is subtract F uh, this is uh, GNU assembler so it has slightly different syntax to what I'm used so I had to wrap my mind so uh, basically this means uh, in GNU assembler I'll write it in normal uh, or like more like uh, flat assembler so it basically means uh, from address behind register ex, uh, we need to subtract uh, a value in a register edx. So basically, uh, 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 ex, imagine this is value, right? So uh, minus edx, like this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So. or something but uh, yeah uh, so what is the idea we subtract something from memory uh, some specific value so let's see what we subtract right because we are now in assembler uh, in debugger we have registers view if uh, we need the registers are here views uh, registers uh, but I have it enabled already because I did some hacking before so uh, for other applications and for doom as well and uh, yeah so uh, right now nobody modified edx uh, so it is uh, subtracting edx which is exactly one so edx holds one we subtract one so it is 
getting more and more clear than we are that we are really subtracting our ammunition and we are subtracting one because we shoot once right uh, one one bullet at a time and uh, what is behind eax I ju let's just verify so what is eax uh, 5c um, c3 uh, 4a4 let's uh, check so 5c c3 uh, 4a4 it is exactly the value we want so everything is just correct now it's uh, time to do things uh, we want to uh, increase ammo instead of subtracting uh, let's uh, let me show you how to use this assembler so it is clear that this is uh, platform i386 so i hope it can disassemble can it disassembly so subtract uh, this is microsoft assembler i guess uh, so subtract uh, from register uh, value behind this uh, edx so everything is correct our disassembler in gcc uh, gdb is correct let's now replace uh, subtract with um, other instruction so first thing to do is to find uh, uh, what uh, is uh, the value in doom right so uh, uh, i will create a file uh, open and then i need to open uh, let me copy this pass uh, so this is uh, my kernel and this is Doom. Let's open Doom. Open. Uh, let's find binary. Uh -huh. Yep. This is the binary we'll be modifying. Uh, let me create a copy of it because uh, I don't want to damage uh, original executable. I will call it uh, mutated mutant one. Okay. So we'll modify uh, this mutant one executable. I don't break on access there, so it's just completely separate. We have uh, hex uh, numbers. Uh, let's now find uh, this code inside. So we cannot just look for this because it's too, this instruction is too generic. We need to find uh, with some context. So I will copy these things. We already have it copied, so uh, let me just. Uh, we want these instructions. I will. I think uh, there will be enough like this. So let me quickly create a string of things this is the list of instructions we are looking for and let's hope they are quite unique so that we don't need to basically uh, look for them twice the important thing is that this list of instructions is present once I don't think we need the rest it's quite en enough I think it's quite long list and should be quite unique search find and uh, I've been looking for something else but now I want uh, this which is very similar so uh, yeah let's find we found something but let's just I will just continue search again just to make sure that there is nothing else find again down and string on foul uh, that's what we want uh, this string was unique and this exactly once in application so what we have EB12 E8 what it is so this is our jump uh, and uh, then we have our call to some function probably getting some value we want 2910 so we have 2910 here it is so 2910 and then f686 right so these two instructions are responsible for subtracting from edx eax basically reducing our armor we uh, want value uh, let's just uh, make sure that we can reproduce it. Uh, I have uh, XVI uh, somewhere, so let me just uh, create uh, another XVI um, uh, application. So uh, uh, just a second. Yeah. I just need another copy of XVI for I will explain why. So um, uh, let's uh, open. Uh, I have uh, all the operating system project uh, where I had uh, assembler. 
uh, assembly build it was completely made in assembly so I have this uh, test binary which I want to open uh, let's uh, open it I'll, I don't have online tools but uh, probably there is online assembler somewhere uh, I, I'm just very used to flat assembler so uh, I have some instructions uh, before I don't remember what it is but um, uh, let's uh, now let's just confirm we can reproduce uh, things so what we want is subtract eax edx so uh, hmm, hmm. Uh, we have uh, assembler it's formal binary it will just generate instructions uh, in mnemonics I use a little bit uh, assembler and uh, base address is zero so let's just uh, what we wanted subtract uh, word eax edx well, let's just uh, let's see if we can get 2910 like we could before right so i i have a build uh, here uh, which is just make and it builds uh, two bytes in uh, our call i will just file reload and it has 2910 so we, we are able to reproduce i just built uh, this assembler file into binary uh, i will show later how to build it uh, so 2910 is subtract we know it 2910 but let's uh, now replace it with add because it's what you want right uh, we want to increase v1 and i'll just rebuild it again so I, I saved it, make, I, again we have two bytes, that's good, reload, and 0, 1, 10. So what we need is just to replace uh, 29 to 0, 1, and it will increase instead of decreasing. Uh, let's just do it, so 0, 1, right, uh, 0, 1, I didn't uh, mess anything, yeah, 0, 1, okay, uh, 0, 1, 10. Uh, we can just uh, replace anything else because we don't uh, know, but I saved it, right? And now we can open uh, our another instance of Doom is still running. We will open our mutated Doom. Uh, yeah, it runs new again, again. Uh, yeah. So each time we shut down, we increase our. Data. That's uh, so. That's how it works. Now. Uh, so we can enjoy playing with infinite ammo. And, and Nothing breaks. The application is quite stable, and uh, everything. Is fine. Uh, next time, I'll try to do more extensive editing of game, possibly uh, increasing ammunition and health again. So, uh, as you can see, it's quite interesting that all ammunition increases, uh, not just. Uh, pistol or shotgun, uh, just anything. Uh, I don't know what is the maximum value of uh, so, uh, Yeah, I, I don't know if uh, it makes sense to shoot long time to see if it overflows. I guess it wouldn't matter if there is some large number here. Probably there will be full letters only. But uh, probably will work. Uh, if we didn't want to modify uh, Doom, we can replace uh, not, do do, not do anything with register. Let's just quickly do it. So uh, let's just once more edit uh, Doom and I will just show a quick trick. So uh, not is do nothing. Uh, we know that uh, we are subtracting um, uh, value. Uh, we can replace this thing with nops, just do nothing. So, uh, and then our value will not ever increase or decrease, it will just not change if we should. So, uh, yeah, just for simplicity, I'll do it quickly. So, once and then compile it, uh, just make, we get one byte, and I will reload uh, here in, in test binary, reload. We have 90, so we have two instructions uh, 0, 1, 10. We need both to set to 90, 90, 90. Okay, save. And now our values will never, it's just nops, nope, nope, do nothing. So it will execute machine code sequentially, right? And then it will see nope, do nothing, and then do nothing again, and then it will continue. So what it will do next, so basically we removed this part, inserted uh, two nops here, 
no, then no. So uh, it uh, added something to register. Uh, am I looking to correct assembly? Uh, yeah, probably. So uh, this is adding to something to address, but then it references address. So address will never be uh, value behind address will never be modified, and then we test something so our value will never change so that's expectation i didn't try it before but let's try it. so let's run it again and make sure that our weapons uh, will not be affected so yeah we should and not so, uh, uh, ammunition doesn't decrease so we have uh, anything we want so we are working so uh, thanks a lot uh, for watching so I will try to do more interesting stuff next time and show share it good luck